Hello, welcome to the Success Factors Recruiting Knowledge Transfer Sessions. Today, we will be talking about manage uh, offer letter templates. So I'm an admin center uh, and I will show you how you can get to the manage offer letter templates. So we can configure new offer letter templates or even edit the ones that already exist. So from the admin center page, either we use the tool search here at the top and we type, for example, offer letter. And then we have this option here, manage offer letter templates or we can use the recruiting menu here and then select this one, manage offer letter templates. So the offer letter feature allows a permissioned recruiting user to select a pre-built template, update the contents and generate an offer letter containing the offer details and the language uh, to be used in negotiating and finalizing offer terms with a candidate. So as an admin, you will be responsible to create those templates so that then later on in the recruiting process, a recruiting user can actually pick the template, make any um, adjustments that are needed and send that offer template to the candidate. So the um, to be able to come to this page and make the adjustments to the offers that exist or to create new templates, you need to make sure that you have the permission manage offer letter in the uh, in RBP. So you need that permission to be able to access this page. So just make sure you have that. Um, here in this page, as you can see, I have a few uh, templates already. These are the templates that I have created um, for testing purposes, for demo purposes. I have some information here. So I have the template name. I have the status. So the status would always be enabled or disabled. And I have the translated in column. So an offer letter can be created in a single language. However, if you have multiple languages enabled in your instance, you can definitely translate the offers so that once you are hiring in a different language for a job in a different language, you are able to send an offer letter in that specific language to the candidate. I also have this column last modified, which tells me when the letter was last modified, when the template was last modified. And I have this uh, action uh, column here that will allow me to edit the offer letter template. Once I click the, um, once I click here, I'm able to edit, or I am also able to click here in the template name. So if you want to create a new um, offer letter, we can just come here and click on this button, create new template. I will also show you how to edit um, existing letters. But first, let's take a look at how we can create a new one. So I clicked on the create new button. Uh, I am directed to this page to uh, create a new offer letter uh, template. I have here the, the very first field that I have is change country, region and language. So I can select the country and the language that we want, uh, that I want from the drop down menu. So as you can see, I have here the list of all countries, let's say, for example, United States. And then I have here the list of languages that are enabled for my instance. I will keep this as English US. Then I have the template name. I will enter a unique name for my offer letter. This is what the users will see when they are trying to create an offer letter. They will see the template name and they will pick the template according to that. Then for the status, uh, again, I have an enabled and a disabled button. So if you want to use this offer letter, you need to enable the letter. So really make sure that you have checked the box here for the enabled, um, for the enabled button. So let me just type here. For company ABC. 
So this is the subject. As you can see, it is a mandatory field. It has this little red star next to it. Uh, so this means that you need to enter this information. This information is what the candidate will see. So this is the subject of the email. Uh, this is the subject of the letter that the candidate will receive. Uh, so really make sure that you provide a text that will be a candidate facing. Keep that in mind, that will be candidate facing. And then for the body, this uh, whole section here, you will uh, actually enter the text that will be available for this offer letter. Uh, it is possible to, uh, well, as you can see, there are multiple uh, formatting options here at the top and here as well. Uh, so make sure that you play around with this um, and edit your offer. It is also possible to add links, but please ensure that any links that are used are checked and validated because incorrect links can cause uh, application errors in the system. So really just make sure that if you add a link, you are validating that the link is actually working. It is also possible to add tokens here. So this icon here opens this uh, well massive list of tokens that are available um, in the offer letters. So the tokens are variables, uh, are, are uh, placeholder, placeholders that will auto-populate with data from requisitions, applications, offer details, um, and also even uh, some data that is in the user profiles of the operators. So tokens with no data uh, will simply show up um, as a token placeholder and they will need to be manually removed. So uh, keep in mind that a token is always related to a field. So if you don't have the field configured in your uh, templates, uh, again, requisition, application, or offer detail, if you don't have the field configured in your templates or if the field is configured, however, the field does not contain any data, then the token will not populate with any data. And the token will show up exactly as a token, as a placeholder. So in the recruiting process, when a, a recruiter is picking the offer letter, it is very important that the user validates the tokens um, and validates that the tokens are actually populated with information. Uh, with data. So the tokens will appear with the uh, yellow highlight when they are inserted. Um, however, this yellow highlight may vanish when the user is print previewing. So really just make sure that you validate this and then you manually adjust any tokens that are needed. Um, you can, so as an admin, you will be creating the offer letter and you can definitely add the tokens here. But then again, if for a specific job requisition, the, the token or the field was not populated, then in the offer letter, that token will not have any data. So uh, just keep this in mind um, and mention this to your recruiting users so that they can always, always validate if the tokens are populating with the data. So let me just close this. Um, oh, obviously, if you would like to add a token, you can just check the box and you can click here in OK and the token will populate here uh, for you. Once you are um, happy with uh, the template that you have created, you can come here and click in the Save Changes uh, button. This is what will actually uh, save, and because you also have checked the box for the enable, this will uh, save and enable this template to be used by the recruiting users. And this template will be able to be selected by uh, the recruiting users so that they can send the offer to candidates. Um, it is also possible to use HTML in the offer letters, so that can be helpful to format the offer and add page breaks, for example. Uh, so keep in mind that that's, that's also a, a possibility. Um, and then again, just uh, keep in mind that it is possible to preview the offer to validate that the tokens were populated. 
so let me just go back. I'm going to click here in the cancel button. I'm just uh, unsaving or discarding uh, rather the, say, the changes that I've made. Um, and again, I mentioned before, you have two options to edit an offer, uh, an offer letter that already exists. So either you select the template, so you click on the template name, or you come here to the action and you click in this uh, little icon here. So it is really up to you. You can use both. So if I click on the template name, I will just uh, open this offer letter that exists in the system and then I can make any adjustments that I need to make. I can even disable the offer. So let's say that for whatever reason, um, your company doesn't need this offer anymore. We don't have uh, the uh, delete offer, but we have uh, this disable um, option here. So if you disable an offer, then a recruiting user will not be able to select this offer from that point forward the recruiting user will not be able to select this offer template and send it to candidates. So really make sure that you enable or disable according to uh, the requirements for the company. Just cancel back. And this is uh, really how we can create new templates or edit the existing templates. Thank you.